Okay, so how do we do it? So you guys know what to do pretty well now, I think. You take the 23 on the outside, the 15, 13 on the inside, and then we grab that 23, take it over on the side, and we're going to add the 23 to itself several times. Okay, here we go. Three and three makes six, but we're in base six now. You're never going to see a six. So subtract six, it's zero, and carry the one. And two, two, one is five. So there we go. There's two times 23. It's 50, actually. Um, we can have a five, right? That five is fine. In base six, you can have a five. You just can't have a six, as you know. Okay, on we go. Let's add another 23. Just keep adding 23s. This is three. This is seven, but we can't have a seven. Cross it out. Subtract six. Leaves a one. Carry one to the next column. Bring it down. Let me, let me bring down that three. So it's easier to look at. There we go. So one, one, three. So on base six, you're always carrying when you hit six. So that's three times 23. Let's add another 23. Three and three make six, but nope, we can't have a six in base six. Subtract six leaves a zero and carry. And one and one and two is four and then one. 140, so there's four times 23. Now, do I need to do more? One more, yeah, because in base six, you got to go all the way to five, don't you? So I got to do one more of these. I'm kind of running out of room. Maybe I'll do it over here. Well, here, I'll just do it right down here. So add another 23. One more time. So that'll be three, six, but can't do that. In base six, you're never going to see a six. So cross that out, subtract six, leaves a zero, and carry. One and one makes two. Let me bring that three down. Let's that easier to see. So there is five times 23. So we've got them. We've got five times 23, four times 23, three times 23, two times 23. There's all the times tables for the base six problem we're looking at. Okay, so now we're ready to go. Okay, so back, back to the question now. How am I going to actually do this problem? This is as big as I'm going to give you. I won't give you anything bigger than base 6. When There's no going to be no base 12s in the long division. We'll stop at base 6. This is hard enough just right here. All right, so here we go. Getting back to the question. Here's our places. So 23 goes into 15. No, it can't go into 15, so you got to go into 151. How many times does 23 go into 151? Three. It does go three, 113, but it actually goes four also, doesn't it? Remember, you want to do the biggest. Whenever you're doing long division, you want to go in the most you can. It doesn't go in five. Five would be 203. That's too much. I can't put 203 here. But I can put 140, right? So we're going to do four. So it's four times. So four times 23 is 140. I'm getting that right here. Four times 23 is 140. All right, you know what to do, right? Now we subtract, leaves one, one, bring down the three. Next step, how many times does 23 go into 113? Three. Yeah, we're seeing that right here. Three times 23 is 113. Three times 23, 113, subtract, done, answer. 
43. There it is. We got it. Questions I can answer on that one. 